Hey guys, what's good? Welcome to Esme and Eric's YouTube channel. Before we begin, I'm going to need you guys to like, subscribe, comment, and follow. 90% of y'all isn't... <clears throat> you hear me? 90% of y'all isn't... Subscribe. Guys, subscribe. And make sure you guys hit that like button. It's not that hard, you guys. Just... Yeah, you guys, I really appreciate the love you showed on my last couple of videos, you guys. Um, anyways, you guys, um, this video, however, has to do with my neighbors. I thought I'd, I thought I'd do a video on it just because it's been bugging me. It's been bugging me because um, the other morning I had an incident with one of the new neighbors. Or not an incident. I'm not even called an incident. I had a little situation with the neighbors next door, the new guys that are building the new house. Anyways, um, there's a lot of car traffic that my neighbor gets right across the street here. <laughs> I was told about that traffic, you know. I was like, I got traffic, you guys. I got a little bit of foot traffic, you know. I got a few people coming over that want to burn a jail. But I can't talk for the other guys that pull up next door at the house there every five minutes. Man, the traffic's so wild there. I thought some they were selling cocaine or something because I did a video on it. It was just a joke. It was just a joke in the video, you guys. And I make clear in the video that it's just a joke, you know. I was like, maybe with skepticism that maybe there's a little bit of trafficking going on next door. Anyways, while I'm talking to my neighbor. The neighbor that I got the real problem with, he comes out right after that to intervene. Like intervene, like he like telling those guys, oh, what's going? Like I like I couldn't hear because we're just all like like 20 meters away from me. This gullum looking guy comes charging at me down the fucking roadway, meets me halfway because I had to charge back, you guys. I couldn't I can Eric couldn't look soft, you guys. Anyways, the guy charges at me like trying to fight me, kind of bullshit. Runs all the way down. As we meet halfway, there you go, you know, nothing was made. No one made a move, you know, because why should we, why should I fight the guy over, you know, and scare my kids over nothing? Anyway, it's clear where the problem was from now. Now, the guy that I initially addressed, I thought he phoned the police on me because the police said it was him. So here I put two and two together. It was the same guy that made the first complaint that good. Googled my name, and when you Google my name, you guys, Eric Whiteman, left something pleasant, something unpleasant shows up. It shows that I was arrested for, I don't know, like ten thousand dollars cash and a bunch of fentanyl, and I, um, I got busted, you guys, in Lethbridge, fair and square. I ain't trying to sugarcoat it. I ain't trying to say that I didn't do it. I, I clearly did did it and i paid my dues i went to jail i got out you guys and i've been sober since then this guy over here next door says that otherwise tell us the cops that i'm a trafficker i'm trafficking oxy 80 pills well hmm well i don't know if he told a cop that he told me that he told me that he said you trafficked oxy 80 pills i know who you are and then i thought to myself how the fuck do you know who i am and how the fuck did you know that i fucking so oxy 80s at one time or another in my life oh you know and he's not smart enough to use case law so i probably assumed it was google you guys google's right the lord of misinformation have you guys ever tried cheating on a test and used google it doesn't really work you guys i tried it one time or another you know you guys google is so much bullshit Everybody thinks it's Webster's. So the fucking little guy next door, the fuck, he looks like Gollum. You guys, his eyes are right close together. Like kind of scary or something like a, like a mutant man that's in like those Cheech and Chong movies. That's how that guy looked. Anyways, um, this guy's just been razzing me. You got, he's like, yeah, um, he he tells my wife, or my wife says, well, we belong on the block too. Then he tells my wife. You guys just rent here. 
Oh man, I like fuck you guys. I so wanted to fucking do something that the old Eric would do. And I'm I'm fortunate I didn't do that because I wouldn't be talking to you guys here. I probably would. I probably would have a little PTA or something to show you guys that I went to jail or something. I'm not gonna take that risk up, you guys. For him to say that we don't belong here because we're only renters was wicked fuck that was a piss off you guys really, like yeah i know this happened two days ago and and he probably phoned my landlord after that and i'm probably gonna get evicted now you guys anyways um the police were called they did come over and the, the police says constable shot to constable morris he says um he says eric um do you know how much traffic i saw here and I was like, "Go, well, how much traffic have you saw here? Because he said he had to investigate it. He said, I don't really see any traffic, Eric. I don't see any kind of traffic. And I was like, yeah. So, and I told him it's easy for, it's easy. It's a clear case of we don't like these guys on the block. I'm just doing this video because I don't want this guy to go and call my landlord and say, that oh Eric to traffic traffic in eighties I caught with ten thousand dollars cash and the cops literally did catch some with some eighties in his pocket it says on the article it's so easy for this town to do that I I wouldn't pass it by because of the video that I did and it's funny how this all adds up you guys I did the first video on Ivan Negrich do you remember I told you guys that the family put a um the family put a video it had a hole in the wall and had some dog shit. And he made a big thing about it and tried to smear his family's name. I told him, to, does Carson really gossip like that? Do you guys really gossip? Yeah, I wouldn't pass it up on them. Gossip amongst each other. You know, for, for, for that fucking neighbor to say that he's a homeowner and that we're just renters, we don't belong here. It was really some bullshit for him to say, man. You know, like, fuck, like, even I felt bad about it, you know. I'm like, fuck, why the fuck would this guy say something like that, you know. We're supposed to all, doesn't the Bible say, thou shalt love the neighbor? You know, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if it's just the people in Cardston or if everybody's like that that's non-native. Got me thinking like that. I'm like, well, we love each other. It seems like. You guys like like to hate each other. And because we don't, they don't like us. This guy just hates us now. The neighbor just hates us. She's in his, she's in his face every time he drives by. He's like thinking of a way to fucking torture me or something. That's how he looks at me, guys. I'm not, I'm not fucking lying. Yeah, that pissed me off, you guys. So I thought I'd do this video today. And bring that up. Anyone can Google your name and find the information that the cops may have put there and may not have put there. But Google is where you go when you don't have the answer. You don't have the solution. You go to Google. Like I said earlier, you try to cheat on a test. That's not easy just to Google the answer and, and that's it. And I'm going to get a doctorate degree. No, it's not like that, you guys. Google is the lead, lead in. I think it's. It has most information on there and can mislead anybody at any time. Google is not where you go and try to find some important answers, especially try to find out who who a person is. Yeah, it says I got I got I got uh, busted up with a uh, with a few pills and a little bit of money, and 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 yeah yeah I did that. So what? I want sugar coated. I won't say I didn't do it. Jail for it. I went to jail for it, you guys, and I didn't want to go back to jail, so that's why I am who I am today. But for someone to say, oh, well, I think otherwise because we found this information on you, you're, really, you're truly this person. So I don't know. I think that's bullshit, you guys. That's bullshit. And... Um, no, nobody should be using nobody should be using Google for 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 that type of information, you guys. That's all I'm trying to point make the point out to be.
So this fucking asshole neighbor goes and says that. And now I'm thinking all the Carson's talking about me because of what Ivan said. Ivan made it clear 100% that you guys talk amongst each other. Whatever it is you guys talk about. Yeah, so I don't know how you guys would take it, but that's the way I took it. Yeah, it's just the town talks about each other. They talk about its tenants. It talks about its tenants past. And, and then after that, it's up to the landlord to judge if they have a tenant in there and say, oh, well, you know, we're going to Google his name, too, and see if we have any information on him because it might be true. Anybody can Google. I would Google his fucking name, but I, I don't even know the fucking guy's name. Says he's a... It says he's a drafting technician on the side of the truck. You know, when you go to the college and do that two-year program on trades, they let you put the, your name on a um, back of a truck. That's all that looks like. And the motherfucker's trying to say he has all that over us. It's people like him that record for other people that are for the good people, you know. But I'm going to tell you guys this. I grew up here my whole life. And the reason why I'm still here is because I'm solid standing. I never back down from one person. I never back down from an, an individual. I never back down from a company. I never back down from the police. And that's why I'm here in Karsten, you guys. I'm not going to say I'm here in Karsten because there's good white people and these people are all the greatest and we love them and they kiss our ass as much as we kiss their ass, especially on check day. No, I'm not going to say any of that, you guys. I'm going to say that these fucking assholes pulled that shit on me and I stood my fucking ground. And that's why I'm here. This is my piece of land. This is my piece of freedom. I'm not gonna go and move out of this, move out of Cardston, go move into the city just because these assholes say that I don't belong here. It must really bug him that we don't belong here. It must fucking bug him why we're still here. He go. The guy even fucking has a thinks the guy doesn't like me. Well, I'm not gonna say I don't like him because I don't even know the motherfucker. I don't even know this guy enough for him to hate me. This is ridiculous, man. This guy could just came over to say hi. Instead, get upset me here. So till then, you guys stick tapped in with my channel. Like I said earlier, like, subscribe, comment, follow, share. 90% of you ain't subscribed. So make sure you subscribe. And, and you're. Boy is out.